is the first reprocessing step and is performed at the bedside immediately after the patient procedure. Pre-cleaning is critical to remove gross patient debris from the endoscope before it has a chance to dry. You will need a 500 milliliter container of water nearby. First, turn off the video processor and light source. Then, gently wipe the insertion tube from the control section to the distal tip with a lint-free cloth or sponge soaked in water. Turn on the suction pump. Immerse the distal end of the endoscope in water and aspirate for 30 seconds. Remove the tip from the water and aspirate air for 10 seconds. Now, turn off the suction pump. Next, we will flush water and air into the air water channel. With the light source off, remove the air water valve. Insert the air water channel cleaning adapter. Turn on the light source and switch the airflow regulator to maximum output. Immerse the distal tip of the endoscope in the water container. Depress the air water channel cleaning adapter for 30 seconds. Release the valve to feed air for 10 seconds. Turn off the light source. If your endoscope has an auxiliary water channel, connect the auxiliary water tube to the inlet and flush the channel with 30 milliliters of water. Expel the water by flushing with air. Alternatively, the OFP may be used to flush water through the auxiliary water channel. If using the OFP, turn on the unit, immerse the distal end in water, and activate the pump to flush water through the channel for 10 seconds. If you are reprocessing a duodenoscope, connect the washing tube to the elevator wire channel connector. And using a 5cc syringe, flush water through the channel until no bubbles exit the distal end. Then, flush the channel with air several times using the same syringe. Disconnect the auxiliary water tube, suction tube, water container, and video scope connector. Next, visually inspect a water-resistant cap for damage. If it is damaged or wet, use another cap. Attach the water-resistant cap to the endoscope. Now, we are going to move the endoscope and accessories to the reprocessing room. Disconnect the endoscope from the light source and transport the accessories and endoscope to the reprocessing room.